Today I'm at Sunshine Toyota and I'm having a look at the Toyota RAV4. Let's see how good it is as a baby drive. There are Isofix in the two outer seats in the back of the RAV4 here and there are top tethers in the back of all three. All of them are within the plastic guides and really nice and easy to connect to. Now I could only get two child seats in the back here and there is a nice amount of room around them. In the back of the RAV4 there are two cup holders in this fold down armrest in the back here. Now they are square shaped which is a bit odd but they are a good size to hold a reusable and disposable coffee cup and a 600ml fit in there too but a large refillable water bottle doesn't. Now there's map holders in the back of both seats, they are big enough to hold and conceal an iPad which is great. The door bins in the back here, now they are small but they will hold a large refillable water bottle. Storage in the front of the RAV4 is really good. There's a bottle holder in the central console here that will hold a sports bottle or my large refillable water bottle. And there's a cup holder in front of that which is a really good size. It would even hold a travel mug with a handle which is great. In front of that is a um, storage well for your phone and you've got your USB and 12 volt sockets in there too. And there's another little storage area there, good for the keys I've found. Now the central console storage box has got a little tray in the top as well as the area underneath. There's a glasses case in the ceiling which is lined so it won't scratch your lenses. And the glove box, it is big enough to hold an iPad and my wallet. It's a really good big size and it has got this shelf above it as well which I think would be really useful for bits and pieces. And the door bins, now they're not huge but they will hold an iPad or my large refillable water bottle. In the boot of this RAV4, it's got this fantastic big rubber mat which is great for taking out and just hosing down rather than having to vacuum out the carpet underneath. There's also this net storage area which is really good for putting balls and lunch boxes, things like that in to keep them out of the main boot area. But obviously you wouldn't have room under there to put a stroller too. Now, the retractable roller blind in here, it does have these flaps at the back here that you secure with the clips onto the headrest posts. Now they are good because they cover that space of the boot, however I'm not a fan of them because I just find they fall into the boot quite a bit and I'm sure those clips will might break over time. Let's find out how much we can fit in the boot of the Toyota RAV4. Empty it would hold 15 shopping bags, or the Mountain Buggy Duet Twin Stroller and 5 shopping bags, or the Bright Axe Flex Tandem Stroller and 7 shopping bags, or the Mountain Buggy Urban Jungle Single Stroller and 7 shopping bags, or the Mountain Buggy Nano Compact Stroller and 10 shopping bags, or a medium sized dog. The RAV4 is quite a pleasant car to drive. It can be a little bit hard on bumps and I did find there was a bit of a revvy noise when you accelerated as well. Other than that, it's really pleasant and for a car of this size, it's good. The media system in the RAV4 is simple and basic but it's a little bit outdated. When I put it into reverse, the parking sensors do have a loud beep but they can be turned off using the button on the steering wheel and a digital display in front of the steering wheel too. To sum up with the RAV4, it is a nice little practical baby drive. If you only need two child seats then it will suit you. Read the full reviews at babydrive.com.au